This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by GoToAssist. All right, we're down here in the lab of Hope and High Scores, Terra Long, Rev3 Games, PS4 announcement. Are you ready to shell out cash for PlayStation 4? Uh, it's hard to tell at this point. I was really impressed uh, with their press conference, but we still haven't seen the actual console, and we still don't have a price point yet. So it's very hard to decide. So at $200, now. are you going to buy one? Uh, absolutely. $200, that would be <laughs> miles below what the PS3 was priced at. At $600, so. would you buy one? <laughs> if they wanted to send us one, I'd take it. I don't know if I would shell out my personal money for that. So the move to x86 hardware, the new games they announced, or the whole social thing, what do you think the, like, kind of the most important thing to Sony was? Um, I think the social connectivity was probably the biggest aspect of all of this. Um, obviously, the hardware has been supremely upgraded, and they're adopting more of a PC architecture now. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it will be a lot faster and of course the game will look better. They did a little demonstration where they dropped like a million objects into <laughs> a game and it just it flowed perfectly. Right. Um, but I do think that the social connectivity aspects are really what's important here and with especially with their re recent acquisition of Gaikai, they're really harping on cloud streaming now. So a couple things that they were really adamant about wanting to mm -hmm. include with the PS4 is being able to go into the PlayStation Store, mm -hmm. download a game and as soon as you start downloading it you can play. And Gaikai wow. is going to be part of the service that allows that. While we're talking social, possibly your favorite feature out of the entire announcement, the share button? Yes. So this is awesome, uh, especially for people like me who are continuously recording gameplay footage. And you know it's a huge pain in the butt. Um, this is basically a button on the DualShock 4 controller that lets you tap into the internet, basically. Uh, the system is continuously recording gameplay footage mm -hmm. as you're playing. So if you see something interesting, you can actually press the share button and go back and edit that footage on the fly and then immediately upload it to whatever social media sites that you use. And the other interesting part is that you will be able to use that share button to automatically multicast uh, in real time, which I think is really cool. They're also going to be doing a lot of cross-platform stuff between the PS Vita and the PlayStation 4. <laughs> so uh, it'll be sort of like the Wii U gamepad now where you'll be able to play a game on the screen, pause the game in the middle of it, and then continue play on your Vita, which is very interesting. So if they release the PS4, it'll hopefully boost Vita sales because people don't want to be able to take their games to the bedroom or the bathroom. Absolutely. I mean, that is really one of the primary benefits of the Wii U, and I think it could work really well on this. Uh, they didn't actually show off new games for the Vita, but we did get some for the PS4, uh, a couple newly announced ones. Uh, Deep Down, mm -hmm. which looks very interesting, this is a new game from Capcom. Uh, they also announced The Witness. Mm -hmm. We got our first trailer for that, which is the new game from Jonathan Blow, the creator of Braid. And uh, of course, we also got some little snippets of previous games like Bungie's Destiny right. and Ubisoft's Watch Dogs. They did a live gameplay demo of that. Um, lots of good stuff in the works for this, I think. So is the Blu-ray player capability, you think that's gone? They didn't even touch on that at all, They actually they? really didn't touch on that at all. I'm not sure about that. I do know that it won't allow for backwards compatibility directly, but they are <laughs> planning to bring a lot of the old PlayStation 3 titles to the PlayStation Store oh, eventually, so you'll be able to download them. Will you be able to download them, or will you buy them again? <laughs> I'm not quite sure about that. That is an excellent question. Do you miss your PS2 and PS3 games? No problem. <laughs> you can pay for them again and play them on your PlayStation 4. Maybe. We just don't know yet. So you're, you're, you're hedging your bets. You're waiting to be excited. Yeah, you know, I think there's still a lot of time left. E3 is probably, I would assume, when they're going to announce a price point or sometime shortly thereafter. So I think that'll be the deciding factor mm -hmm. for a lot of people. And also, you know, just the games. Like, that's right. what's the most important thing about a new launch like this. And I'm so excited to see what they come up with in the next year. Ladies and gentlemen, Tara Long is so excited to see what they come up with, but she's not ready to whip out the credit card yet because there's no price. We're waiting. They didn't show the hardware. I'm just going to throw my credit card at them. Two hours. No sign of a box. What's up with that? Rev3 Games, ladies and gentlemen, go there for the best gaming coverage on the internets. Right now, we're going to take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Tara, thank you so much. Thank you. In IT, issues can pop up at any moment. Unexpected user problems, network and server complications, viruses, and staying on top of it all is challenging. That's why we're excited about GoToAssist by Citrix. All of the services you need are integrated into one simple cloud-based toolset, so you can take control of your unpredictable IT world. GoToAssist monitoring helps you quickly identify potential issues at their source before they become big problems. Customizable dashboards display the performance of all networks, servers, and desktops. 
proactive alerts ensure that you are the first to know about any issues. And with GoToAssist remote support, you can provide live or unattended support to any Mac, PC, or mobile device from anywhere. And you can easily keep track of it all from the GoToAssist service desk. Check out GoToAssist and find out how it keeps you in control of your IT world. Sign up for your special 30-day free trial today. Visit GoToAssist.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code TECHZILLA. That's go to assist.com, promo code TECHZILLA.